My shift key is stuck. How do I unstick it? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for Ask Leo, where I've been answering questions, I like this one, since 2003. This has actually happened to me and it's probably happened to some of you as well. It's very simple. For some reason, your computer frustrates you. Like I said, it happens to me. And in doing so, one of your reactions might be to start, oh, I don't know, pounding on the keyboard like I did. After doing so, it seems like the shift key is stuck. What we've probably done is enabled a feature in Windows that a lot of people probably don't realize is even there. Let's go switch over to Windows 10 and I will show you exactly what we're talking about. So I'm going to fire up the settings app and in there, I'm going to start typing ease of access in the search and then immediately type on ease of access keyboard settings. The setting that we're actually running into is this thing called sticky keys. Now, it's not the setting itself that's causing our problem. Um, that's actually a very useful setting for individuals with certain types of uh, uh, keyboard difficulties. And what it does is it changes the shift key from a state to a toggle. In other words, when I say it's a state, when you hold it down, you're shifted, and when you release it, you're not. For a toggle, you press and release it once and you're shifted. You press and release it again and you're not. That's called sticky keys. The real catch here, though, is this setting down here, allow the shortcut to start sticky keys. What that does is if you press the shift key five times, it'll turn sticky keys on or off. Now, you may have just heard a little bit of a beep, but there was one and there's this option to turn it on or off. Did you mean to? Well, no, I didn't in this case. The real thing to do here, of course, is to turn off allow the shortcut key. That way, that five times on the shift key will no longer cause this problem. The other thing that is worth checking while you're here is the shortcut for toggle keys, which basically just plays a sound when you touch any of these lock keys. And there is a shortcut holding num lock for five seconds. I don't need that. And then filter keys. Press and hold the right shift key for eight seconds to turn on filter keys. That basically causes the keyboard to ignore certain kinds of repeated keystrokes. We'll turn off that shortcut as well. With those shortcuts off, you should now be able to pound on your keyboard all you want within the physical limits of the keyboard itself, of course. For the article on which this video was originally based, for updates, for comments, for links to related articles, visit askleo.com slash 1855. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.